What is up, everybody? We're Hello back. There. We're at Rhode Island Comic Con for the Scapoli Tano Show. Scapoli Tano taking over the place tonight. They do interviews for day one. Stay tuned to the channel because we have vlogs coming with all Mandalorian superstars. Obi Wan, Book of Boba. Make sure you guys subscribe down below to the YouTube channel, The Scapoli Tano Show, for my awesomeness. So here we go. Day one, Rhode Island Comic Con. Here we go. Oh, 
We just need a moment. I texted him on Facebook anyway. I told him I said I had a lot of things to do. It's Friday afternoon. Yeah. So we go drink so bad. His hand's gonna hurt. This one, Timothy? Okay. Yes. We've only seen this one. Yeah. Is this the San Diego? Yes. No. no. San Diego. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought it was celebration. <laughs> okay. no. You could put uh, the same way, two Chris Cavoli again, and then maybe over here in the corner or whichever, whichever you like, Timothy. things. Ha <laughs> ha 
I got books for you, but let this gentleman go. <laughs> what is up, everybody? We are here at Rhode Island Comic Con live. Live, we are live. And I'm with a very special guest, young little Cassian. Little Cassie and Endor from Endor series that is streaming now on Disney Plus. So how are you, Antonio? Fine, I'm fine. How was your first con? Uh, very good. <laughs> are you nervous? Uh, yes, a Me little too. bit. <laughs> <laughs> now, how is it to play young Cassian? How do you how do you get into that role? Um, I don't remember. Uh, it's very fun uh, the role of jo young Cassian. Because uh, when I remember when G G I film, uh, I need to do so, um, other language, uh, two other language, no, uh, the Canaries language, and this is a big challenge. <laughs> yes. Now, where are you from, Cat uh, Antonio? I'm from Mexico. Mexico. Yes. Wish I was from Mexico. Wish I was. <laughs> Uh, so my next question to you, uh, can you can we expect anything from Young Cassian for these next couple episodes, or you can't spill anything? I can't spill anything. Yes, sorry. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs> can't give us a hint. No. <laughs> now, what is your favorite scene so far? Is it that we already saw, or is it upcoming? Um. It's, uh, so, uh, I think when I hit the glasses, mm -hmm. this is my favorite scene. That's your favorite scene? Yes. Now, what, now, what is your favorite thing? How long, what is your favorite thing in America right now? My favorite thing in America? Yes. All the things. All the, all the things? Um, your favorite thing? I don't know. <laughs> um, probably all the um, all the cities is very pretty. The cities I like so much, and the houses are pretty. <laughs> yes, it's pretty. Pretty houses. Now, yes, this is your first ever con. Yes. First ever. Yes. Today's the first day. So, what was the best part of today was of today probably um, probably known the all, all the other actors <laughs> I think this is the best part now I saw that you ran off you were going to see Cad Bane yes how was it like to meet Cad Bane over there uh, uh, can you repeat how was it like to meet Cad Bane Cat Bane? Yeah, right behind us, right? Yeah, he's right Yes, uh, uh, good. <laughs> Is he nice? He's yes. tall. He's very tall and he's a very good person. <laughs> yeah. Now, one more question I'm going to ask you. Yes. On set, when you're on set of Endor, yes. what is your go-to snack or meal that you just go to? Uh, my... When I go to... When you're on set filming uh -huh. and you need a break, you go on break, uh -huh. what is your go-to snack? What's your favorite snack to munch on? My favorite... Um, the water. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be water. It's got to be like food. Your snack. Um, my snack... Uh, just the, the apple. <laughs> Apples? Yes, or I can't fruits. Eat, I can't eat fruit. That's too healthy for me, Antonio. <laughs> that is way too healthy for me. And I'm allergic to apples. But thank you so much, Antonio, for taking the time and doing this interview. You're Your first welcome. interview, right? Yes. Uh, um, I, 
Se second in English. First, first interview here, though. Oh, okay, <laughs> yes. First interview here. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you. And we'll stay tuned for more interviews with all Star Wars cast members right here on the Scavoli Tano Show. <laughs> thank you, Antonio. Thank you for you. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We're back to Rhode Island Comic Con, right here live, all the way from, I don't know where we are, Providence, Rhode Island. Woo! I'm here with a very, very talented Peter Griffin. Very, yeah. very Stevie Oaks. <laughs> How are you, my friend? I'm great. How are you? I'm alive, unfortunately. Hey, never, unfortunately. Never. Okay? No matter how far you're down, you're not Meg. Not oh. Meg, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's a terrible one. How is Meg? Meg, how are you? She's good. She's good. Yeah. yeah. She's a woman of few words because we don't let her talk. I hear, I hear that. I understand that. So how are you liking your, your day one? You're at your booth. How are you feeling today? Uh, tired. <laughs> Can't wait for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay. what is your favorite, favorite thing to do in Rhode Island? Your absolutely favorite thing. You wake up in the morning, you go... I'm Peter Griffin. I'm doing this today. Uh, let's see. Um, can I take a shit? Uh, maybe pee first, too. Although they both coincide with each other. Uh, but in Rhode Island, um, that's, that's a loaded question. Uh, sometimes I go down to the uh, New York lunch in Woonsocket and get myself some wieners uh, for all the way, okay, with a, uh, with a coffee milk, or we like to call them gaggers. The Wieners are called gaggers. Sometimes you get them with beer. Sometimes you get them coffee milk. And for those of you who don't know, coffee milk is a coffee-flavored syrup that goes in milk. It's freaking really? sweet. Yeah. That is freaking sweet. It's it's pretty ballsy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that... I sometimes like to go to one of our majestic beaches all over the place. We are the ocean state. <laughs> they are. Now my next question to you is, how do you do the role of Peter Griffin? How how. What, what became of this role? What, what made you wake up and say, I'm going to impersonate Peter Griffin? Uh, boredom. Pandemic. Uh, Lois said I couldn't go aside. I had to stay six feet away from everybody. I was feeling lonely. I was down. And, uh, you know, I felt like a nobody. You're somebody and to I me. wanted to be somebody on, on the Tic Tacs. And here I am. And look at you now. Yes. Own booth. Ready to rock it. Own, own merch. I got to get me a hat. Yeah, you do. And wear it around New Jersey and say, this is fucking sweet. And when you sweet. run into the other guy, Rob Franzese, you'd be like, this guy. This guy. I saw him. You were battling him before. I was a little scared. You saw him before, didn't you? No. No. Oh, he was looking at you. I saw him. Is he here? I think so. Really? Even the chicken dude is here. Yeah, I saw chicken. But no, I didn't see Rob. Is Rob right lurking around? Yeah. Oh, fuck. He's here. Fuck oh, crap. <laughs> He's around. You better watch. Oh, boy. He is. Now, my last question to you, Steve. What's your favorite Peter Griffin episode and Family Guy quote of Peter I can, Griffin? I can, I can answer one of them at least right now. Uh, favorite episode is the uh, first one with Death, where he <laughs> shows up to try to take Peter's soul. Ah, Love that episode. And uh, my favorite quote is, uh, besides, you don't have to kill strippers because they're already dead inside. Take care, everyone. <laughs> And then we're going to end it right there. Take care. Live from Rhode Island, the Scavoli Tano Show. Thank you, Stevie. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And let's get back to Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. What is up, everybody? We are back to another interview on the Scavoli Tano Show with my good friend that I just met today. We're best friends already. He's Long got a time. hat. I don't got a hat. You know, I want a hat, but he won't give me it. Dorian Kenji, right? Kenji. Kenji. I'm gonna get that, don't worry, I'm gonna get that. Cad Bane, flesh and bone, taller than me. He's probably taller than, it's over here. Stand up. Stand up, yeah, stand up. Real quick. I'm not gonna lose the frame. No, you're good. So we can do the interview like this if you want. Yeah, we can. Probably a little more. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Make me look good now. <laughs> <laughs> so how's everything? How is your first, because I know this is your first Rhode Island Comic Con. Yeah. How are you liking it so far? It's good. It's good. Everybody's really nice. The staff is super nice. It's a, it's a well-oiled machine for these guys. I really did. We did one um, in Colorado Springs a couple months ago, the same people that run this one, and they've 
they have it down. So I'm really excited to be here. It's a beautiful city. So did a lot of walking around today and checked it out before because the con started later. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of the weekend. Yeah, because you're all you're with your Mandalorian peeps. Yeah, exactly. We got a good slew of them over here for sure. I know Absolutely. they're all lined up. Yeah, they're all super I gotta nice. meet one. That was Barry. That was just yeah, right? Barry Long is a Mandalorian. Yeah, it is. you got Tate Fletcher over there. You got sorry Emily Swallow, wow. Missy Rosa. You got a you got a good crew. She had a big line, Emily. Before, yeah, yeah. Like out there. She's talented. She is. Well, you're talented. Yeah, I try. Oh. I try. So, what, my question is to you: What is it like to play Cad Bane? The bounty hunter from the Clone Wars, Bad Batch, and now live action. What is it like to play that character? What do you the makeup and prosthetics? Like, what do you what do you go through? Well, the I think for me, the makeup and prosthetics and creature work is it's always a given. I just go how how in depth is it going to be? How heavy <laughs> is it going to be? What is it? Can I see? Can I not? Um, but I think for this one, it was so. The gravity of it for me was it being a Star Wars project. Like, I haven't been in Star Wars until now. And then having it be supposedly one of Filoni's, one of his favorite characters, and I go, great, no pressure. You know, <laughs> that's what made me kind of nervous. You know, I really wanted to make sure I did the character justice. And, it, you know, there's a template from the cartoon. It's not like a new character that nobody really knows about at all, that nobody has a preconceived notion about. Everybody knows Cat Everybody knows Cat Everybody So knows. you have to live in this bubble of respecting what was done but try to do something that's more practical for reality mm-hmm. you know versus a cartoon so that's i really took it seriously and uh it took you know feloni's notes and i'm glad it turned out the way it did dave feloni is a god yeah he's a, he's a, he's a good he's a, he's a talented <laughs> he's a man he's a genius now was the prosthetics heavy they weren't heavy but it was i call it face yoga because everything was glued to my face and it was the foam latex pieces so when I had to move everything, all the accentuating of like the eyebrows or the lips or whatever it is, or the lack of a nose, um, I had to move that much harder in my face. Like I had to squint so much harder to make the eyelids close, or I had to raise my cheek a little bit harder. I had to close my lips a little harder. So it was very like T-Rex bands. You're always working against resistance on the face. So by the time I was done, my face was just like, I was like done. My face was done. done. Yeah, super like muscle fatigue. You don't want to smile, talk. They're like, are you okay? You're like, good. I'm just tired. My face is tired. (laughs) Time to go home. Pack it up. Yeah. So my next question is to you, Darian. Who is your favorite Star Wars character? Hmm. It's a trick question. It's a trick question. (laughs) You know what? It's funny. Not necessarily a favorite, but literally like a fan favorite for me. We got on set. We did our thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm at Timur Morrison and like so many other people that I thought were really Black amazing. Black is going to be here, Corey right? Jones. It's just so many cool things. But then I ended up, I geeked out on one of the last scenes that I shot. It wasn't synchronous, like in, in chronological order, but it was the last scene for me okay. was when he, at night he was walking down the alleyway and then he had to go down yes. right stairs and had the meeting. I saw some Jawas and I was like, oh, Jawas. <laughs> Like, I was like, that's so cool. And they're like, what are you doing? I was like, Jawas right there. Like, I don't know for some reason. That's when we freak out of Tamir Morris the and kid the Jawas. Me just tripped out. And I was like, hey, guys. They're like, Dorian. I'm like, oh, sorry. I just saw Jawas right there. Like, that was just such a cool moment because that's just, that's a part of, I don't know, my childhood. Because we grew up with the Jawas. We grew up with the Jawas, yeah. Grew, it was like back in the 19, like, Yeah, no, I was brought 80s. up on, like I said, all the original series. So, like, not even, I didn't initially even know about Cad Bane because I didn't have the Clone Wars. As, yes. a, as a kid because mm-hmm. I was in that in between phase for me I was always I don't know I'm not like, going to say exactly how old I am but you know um, yeah let me do the math hold on let me yeah, see how old you are hold on it might take um, a while we'll, exactly. we'll, we'll figure it out but uh, yeah so it, it was a whole new process for me that's good now you're you're one of the hottest things right now Cad Bane now your opinion I don't know if you can answer this question you might not do you think he's is going. do you think he's dead I hope he's not dead but, you know, I don't know. I, I put it this way. I haven't got a call for the second season yet. So I don't know if it's confirmed happening. yet for the second season. Yeah, so who knows? But I just, it was so cool playing them. And, you know, there's a lot of, like, fan theories out there and what's going on. So, I don't know. Fingers crossed he comes back. But I, I wish I knew. <laughs> nothing at this point. <laughs> no, nothing. Now, yeah. my final question to you is, what is your favorite part about being in Star Wars? Because I know you haven't been in long because I know you did Stranger Things, too. Yeah. How was that? That too. was awesome. I will so answer your first question. So the favorite part about being in Star Wars is to say I'm a part of Star Wars. Like, I've tried to be in Star Wars films like my whole life. Oh, wow. You know, I got my first SAG card basically my first day of work. I was 11 years old doing stunts and acting and stuff. And I've just done it ever since. And 
just never been in the cards for me. So now, like, literally being able to be in a Star Wars project is just, it's going to be timeless for me. Just as a, it's like on your bucket achie- list. It was. It was on my bucket list, like an achievement, you know? And then jumping over to being a fan of something like Stranger Things, like, I was a genuine fan, like, watching it myself. Yeah. So I genuinely liked the show. Me and my fiance, we'd always watch it together and be like, man, this is a great show and all this stuff. And I just didn't think I was going to be a part of it logistically because, like, oh, there's demo programs. I was like, that's cool. I was like, I could maybe be one of those. <laughs> oh, they shoot it somewhere else. They do some other stuff. And then, sure enough, season four came around and I got called for the Russian prison demo organ. And that was so cool, too, because I was like, oh, hey, guys, what's going on? And, like, I'm trying to, like, freak out and not be all stupid in it, too. And it was, it was great. So, you know, and then you care that much more too when you're in it you know something you're already a fan of and, and you watch it for something you, well, yeah you know and it was really good so i was uh, it was definitely another little bucket list thing now i didn't know you were in stranger things i i watched it and yeah. i was like they put in the credits i was like i know that guy yeah i know that guy yeah thank you so much for Absolutely. being in rhode island your first time hope you come back yeah and thank you for having just talking with me about the Absolutely. star wars thank you out. appreciate it good luck with everything as well guys subscribe down below to the youtube channel Dorian Cad Bane in the flesh and bone with his hat. I'm going to try to get it after this interview. Probably not, but we'll. <laughs> but thank you. First day complete. Scavolitano and Dorian out. In my life, when you find people who need your help, you help them. No matter what.